Beans in a tortilla shell. My penis in a tortilla shell. Why does one taste delicious and the other one gives me five to eight years? Find out about that and many other things on today's episode of the Freshly Amateur Show. Doof. Roll that shit. Hello, everybody, and welcome, world of the interwebs. I'm the one, the only, Militello. I'm joined, almost as always, by my good old macaroni of the mafias, which include Paige of the Italians, Doofin of the Schmertzes, and Tomahawk of the 1210s. How you boys doing today? Fantastic. Doing pretty good. That is fucking awesome. Nobody cares about that. Everybody cares about our <laughs> special guest today. The... The... <laughs> the one and only. From the Corendo Show. The man, the myth, the legend. Our good buddy Carlos is back with us today. How are you doing today, bud? All right, guys. I'm here, uh... Are ruining my Taco Tuesday, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice for you guys. As you should, okay? <laughs> I already talked about burritos, and those burritos with my penis in them have to be better than any you've ever well, the had. Real thing, the real shame is, like, there's nothing stopping us every week doing a Taco Tuesday on the podcast. It's well, except for Mike's third, and then it's really dependent on Doof and what Cat makes for him, because he doesn't cook for himself. Tom, like, I don't know what your food situation is. Your wife could cook a whole bunch to just yell at you to fend for yourself. And Lord knows, I am not putting any amount of effort in the kitchen. No, we... I love the I kitchen. Mean, I have my GERD pills now, but... Oh, oh, oh bye. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the GERD's all under control now. Um, but... Cholesterol. Um, I don't know. What, what are you, what are you cool drinking? Find out. Ooh, that could strip the yeah, paint off a barn. No. Paige has a drinking problem. This tequila I got. Oh, so you are celebrating Taco Tuesday. Dude, I celebrate everything Hispanic every day, but only when I drink tequila or drink Hispanic or eat Hispanic foods. And sometimes when I put on my sombrero and or my poncho. But those are for very specific things. Not racist oh. at all. Poetry yeah, I was gonna say all those sounds so <laughs> stereotypical. <laughs> they sound really bad, but there's a reason for all of them. I, I... <laughs> this is not a good reason, mind you. All of those are for terrible things, but there's a reason, so it's okay. They all involve uh, how sloppily drunk he's gonna get. Later. <laughs> it's all just to keep it all clean. Is what a poncho? Call me a beaner. Call me Hispanic. It's all, it's all good, guys. He can say it. We can't. We're all good. We're all good. <laughs> Twitch, you don't take me it. off. It's just, it's just whether or not you're going to get in trouble. It's all good. I'm not worried about getting in trouble. I mean, l- let me yell. At- what are they going to do? Take my camera away? <laughs> take my internet away? I'd like to see somebody try <laughs> to take my fucking internet away again. I ain't doing that shit again. Have you guys ever lived like a caveman? Yeah. <laughs> you did live like a caveman. You had everything. Like fucking- you had electricity, yeah. you had heating, you had data, which is basically the internet. No, you not out here. Life. I did not have data. I barely had data. Barely. I'm in the middle of bumfuck Egypt. Wait, Carlos, where the hell are you now? Los Angeles. Said that. Oh. Right now I'm in Los Angeles. I, oh, I was sorry. hoping I could show off the, the studio, but unfortunately... Uh... I think I told you guys this before. Uh, the internet, for some reason, is better in Tijuana than here in Los Angeles. Amazing. I thought you were in, <laughs> yeah, I thought you said you were gonna be in Tijuana like for good. All right, right. I'm just here in LA uh getting taking care of some business. Ah uh, <laughs> dang. So but, uh, are, it's because of our I, time I was, in there. I, I was hoping uh I was hoping there's gonna be some riots today and uh, I could go looting. But I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, no, that is right. It's, it's the uh, seasonal target. Everything is free if you bring a brick or a bottle month. Really? Where the fuck is that at? Because that ain't here. Um, any inner city with a large and heavily dense population. Oh, yeah. That's definitely not here. <laughs> yeah. Unless you live in Portland. Then it's 
the Apple Store, everything is free until it burns down. Dude, you cannot pay me enough money to go to fucking Portland. Dude, it was fun. Like, I, or maybe yeah. did I go to Seattle? I went to Seattle. Seattle was fun, but it was weird. Like, Seattle's Washington. Portland's Oregon. Super hippie. Yeah, I know, but they're right. like, they're they're it's basically, basically like, fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah. They're, it's because they're in the United both places. States. Tijuana, what, no. I have no idea where Tijuana's at. Tijuana's like Central Mexico, just right south of the border there. Yep, Guatemala, yeah. right? No, not uh, Guatemala. That's uh, a whole last country. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was in Africa. <laughs> well, 15 minutes away from uh, San Diego. See? See? Guatemala's yeah, 15 minutes from San Diego. Guatemala? No, Guatemala's a whole ass country at the end of he the He just said he's down there next to it. He's talking about Tijuana. Oh, my God. Okay. It's a drink, isn't it? That's tequila. Oh, that's close. Uh, <laughs> I don't own a globe. If somebody wants to send me a globe, I'll set up a PO box or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna see like these like solar systems and globes hanging behind me. I have like eight of them back there. I'm still like, where did all those from? Oh, the viewers got really upset that I didn't understand how basic geography worked. So it's they not basic geography, okay? Other We're countries name all your planets about the Uranus. world. I can't name any of the fucking plants. Say Earth. Uranus. Name all of them Uranus. Uranus. They should be named Uranus, your penis, your <laughs> dill, all of it. Unfucking believable. I'm just saying, if I was around when they were naming shit, it'd probably be a lot better. Mike, they named it a specific way for a particular reason. Like the first planet is named Cunnilingus. The first planet is named Earth. That feels wrong. Oh, it's that Mike, one. Mike. It's the craps in the fucking thermostat. Um, thermometer. No, it's not named thermometer. Yeah, no, mercury. That's, <laughs> what that's about it. mercury. He's got it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> there. Right. We're almost you, there. Yeah, because it used to be. Hey, kids, quit Com- breaking them and drinking the shit. And it's never once in my life have I ever been around. It's conversations like these that I oh. see why Elon Musk wants to go to Mars now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, that's far guy. away from the delusional <laughs> redneck that he apparently met in a lumber yard. That's me. <laughs> Off to space with my good buddy Elon. Hashtag Elon Musk is my best friend. Hashtag Ooh, no, he's not. Oh, yeah. We are recording this on 420. Oh. It is 420, and well, it's Doge Day. It is 420. Ooh. Carlos told us last time he was going to get fucked up on a bunch of mushrooms next time he was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that that was all last season, though. That's been a hot minute. I, that's back when I was in, in the Stone Ages of no interwebs. Uh, get it? Stone. I think uh, it just, became illegal, uh, just became legal in Portland, if I'm not mistaken. That, and I think California oh, yeah. just needed a decriminalization of all hard drugs. So I can go there and do heroin? Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Mike, how long did it take you to stop using tobacco? That's oh, got a good point. point. <laughs> <laughs> no, imagine that, but on a drug that's even better. Like, tobacco just kind of, like, mellows you out so you feel calm. Well, can I dip heroin? Yes. There, there we go, then. I don't see why there's a problem here. I'm not dipping tobacco anymore, so Emily can't get mad at me. Well, for starters, one, it's heroin. Two, opioids are the most addictive substance on Earth. Three, I, when you go through withdrawals, it can kill you. I Well, that don't quit. That's how you go through withdrawals, dumbass. Like, I, don't think you don't have hours and- a, I don't think you have 12 hours a day to let the heroin turn into morphine and then be metabolized out of your body. Yeah, it's called work. Duh. <laughs> you know what? You go chase that. You shoot for the stars, buddy. I believe in you. Hey, I'm just say- saying, if it works for my idols and whatnot, why not? How many of them are still alive and currently using heroin? Is it, isn't Demi still alive? It's funny because we were talking about that earlier today. <laughs> you just sent me the picture and I was like, that chick's 100% dead. She had track marks on her fucking face. It was so, it was a, a meme, and it had uh, the Disney Channel thing. It's like, 
I'm Demi Lovato, and you're watching Disney Channel. I was this fucking coked out bitch. <laughs> she was strong. That was bad. No, uh, dude, like I, I don't know why. I don't know if she's like saying dumb shit right now, but <laughs> there's a bunch she... of these good Demi Lovato memes coming out right now. Like said that she accused some people of being transphobic, and like, <laughs> weren't you just in rehab? Like, do you think you should be judging people? Like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, I remember like a while ago, she had like this whole heroin thing, and everyone's like, "We didn't see it coming." And then they talk about what she did, like, "Yeah, she would pop all these pills, and we go buy her like all this pot and everything to be gone before the end of the night." And it's like, Jesus, like you're talking about a 16 year old girl. Don't you think you should have said slow down? Hey, oh, oh, back then, I'll say yeah. I've seen her recently, and uh, ooh, I really hope she ain't 16. She ain't 16. She's no, 16. Yeah. I hope she's not 16. No. Didn't she just get in trouble for some shit on yogurt or something like that? Like here in LA as well? I would cover her in yogurt. What? Uh, that's yeah, the yogurt I got that got her in trouble. The fucking yogurt got her in trouble here in LA. I, I guess they didn't have like a flavor or something like that, right? And it just fucking escalated from there. Everybody's like jumping Wait, on her. Because they didn't have a flavor? Yeah, pretty much just fucking acting like a spoiled brat. Oh. oh, so she went to go get yogurt, and they didn't have the flavor she wanted, and she snapped. Yeah, she, I can't wait. I think, she, I think she tweeted, uh, that, like, uh, um, trying to bully the business, if you will. Or that's the fucking word that everybody's using online, bully. Oh, like, like strong arm them, then? <laughs> yeah, she, so, I guess she was like, uh, what? giving them bad, pu- pu- bad publicity, because they didn't have a fucking oh. flavor. Yeah, I mean, if, really it's, if it's like vanilla or chocolate, I can understand. Yeah, but if someone said like, no, chocolate vanilla yogurt, yogurt, that's not normal. It's nah. yogurt, yeah. So Find, like, I guess some crazy drug vanilla or strawberry. If you don't have vanilla and strawberry, maybe not peach. I can understand you freaking out, but either way, you can freak out all the fuck you want. It's not going to make the flavor magically appear right then and there. Exactly. And if you're freaking out, you're either not going to be welcome back, or you're not going to come back. So there's no point in freaking out. But if you call any chocolate bar company, company like major one there, and you tell them that you weren't satisfied with like the candy bar you got, they'll keep sending you candy bars if you keep complaining up to 50 pounds. Is this why you're trying to lose weight, Mike? No. <laughs> yeah, I've been blacklisted. I've been blacklisted by Hershey. <laughs> oh, Mike's not allowed back in the M&M factory and... Um... In Vegas, there. Oh, dude, they got this one candy bar. I think it's by the fucking Reese's fucks, but it's like a candy bar, and it's got the chocolate, it's got the peanut butter in there, but then it's got Reese pieces on top of the chocolate, underneath the, on top of the peanut butter, underneath the chocolate, dude, dude. <laughs> I had a heart palpitation just insulin? thinking about it there. <laughs> yeah, uh, it used to, but now it's too expensive. <laughs> can't afford that shit <laughs> nobody can oh. I don't know I, oh what's that Tomahawk has points Tomahawk you're supposed to be engaging in the chat not that chat with chat with hey, us I just wanted to see how many points I had this fucker's looking at his 42 fucking I'm sorry, trying to 5, get number one points. all right you, you will never beat fucking doof yeah doof how much doof has the most oh, I might have gambled it all away no, I think I checked lately, and you're like you're number two, and like my boss. Oh, three. yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the fucking page has points to throw. He's like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I remember I I no balls it <laughs> twice. All my points. I I think I went from like 150 thousand to 300 thousand, and then I doubled that again. So I had like 600 thousand points. And this guy said, do it again. So I did it again. <laughs> uh, no. So. uh... <laughs> That's crazy. That's how it's gonna end. He's gonna keep fucking no balls in you until you fucking yeah. Ball. You I thought done I three times in a row, man. I just I thought I could do it. Um, do if you want to duel for all of my points after this before the stream. You guys don't know. Since we do this on on Twitch now, at, the more you watch the stream, the more points you get, and then you'll get little like you'll get more points for following <laughs> and subscribing and things like that. And since Doof's always here as my mod, and so is Paige most most well, sometimes. Um, to uh, to regulate chat there whenever I do actually have. He's got a bunch of these points, and you can duel them and gamble them and 
grab like that. So just in case people wonder what the hell these points are that we're talking about. It's like Atlantic City for children. <laughs> I was about to ask <laughs> to me, with, with them, those points. <laughs> yeah. If you yeah, you just gotta watch the stream and then like you can do different oh. incentive things for points. Like right now I've got a thing. I think I have it set up to well, I'm gonna be like resetting it every month. And so you can get those points to where you can unlock one of my sub uh, little emotes. Um, you can have me do whatever, and there's little different rewards. Or you can pitch them into this uh, pot here um, that everybody can pitch them into. And if we hit that goal, then I'll do something. So right now I have a goal of, I think it's a million and one points, and then I'll get a new game. I don't get any money, so I'm just paying out of pocket. But it's usually a good incentive there to get more people in to watch your stream there to get the more points. Correct. Yeah. So it's and, like uh, I have a I have a question from a uh, from one of the assuming he's viewing, but uh, he messaged me. He said uh, he wanted me to ask you guys about uh, the lowering the standards for trans in the military. This is from Tony. Uh, Shout out to Tony. Lowering oh, standards. Me brought it is back it, so they can have transgender in the military again. It already no. went into effect. I heard that, um, that before Trump got they away don't... with. Joe Biden he, just was like, nope, we're doing it again. The... He's just asking our thoughts on it, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just what, our opinions. Okay. <laughs> it's a mental you. issue. Yeah. No. Okay. So Tom <laughs> Hawk's gaming streaming career is done now. <laughs> My <laughs> thoughts are... <laughs> As long as you're not hurting me, I don't give two fucks. If you're, if I'm in, uh, in a fucking hole with you and we're fighting, I don't care if you're a guy, a girl, yeah, as long as you can uh, fight. What, uh, and something that's on the list that I can't pronounce probably because it's too many syllables. I hate you either way. I hate everybody. <laughs> that's it. That's true. At the end of the it's day, just true. know that if you're shooting at me, I'll shoot right back at you. If I. But but what's They're bad too busy about it shooting is shooting themselves. So much... Oh, one at a time. Ooh. Is this Ooh. how uh, the topic of the dick in the tortilla came came about? Uh, no, I I <laughs> had a dream something. last night. That's Actually, just something... no, it wasn't last night. I was cool. sitting at work today. I'm like, I need to think of a of an intro here. And like, oh, let's see. Uh, well, he's down in he's down in Mexico right now. I think there's tacos in Mexico, <laughs> but I like burritos and there's uh. beans. Beans make you poop, which comes out the back end. So I got to do the front end. And then I was like, oh, like he, they're munching down on a hot dog, but in a tortilla shell, and it's my penis. And this is these are the thoughts I have while I'm at work. <laughs> and I'm still employed. Hey, man. Good for you. As long as you're not going underneath 18, beans, I think you'll be okay. So speaking can, of beans, uh, I did the fucking... Are you guys aware of the... the Pocky one chip challenge? No, Pocky. That's like Pocky a hot chip thing. It, 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 it's like the world's hottest chip. It, oh, it has, it has a box, kind of like a coffin. Oh yeah, that's the okay. Yeah, fuck that, dude. I have gird up. That'll kill me. Fucking dude, pulling <laughs> up the points here. He, he's got two profiles. I have have third. One has second. One has third. Oh my gosh. I don't know who Ninja Starfish is, but they're killing it. Good for them. But, uh, dude, you could not pay me. Well, that, I th let me take that back. You could pay me enough. <laughs> I'm that much of a whore. You could pay me enough uh, to to do the one chip challenge. But I don't think anybody that's talking here has enough money because you're going to have to pay for my hospital bills, my time I'm away from work, and then you got to make it worth my while on top of it. And I'm not talking dick. In a oh, your body's going to be in so much pain, dude. Eh. Like well, my dad they just, some of them suffer. Did it for free. Yeah. Who's doing it for free? The people pay to buy the chip to just do it. Fuck I that. Did it. Bad mistake. Who did it? Oh, that's I, rough. Uh, how how was it? Fucking instantly. Edited it, man. Like <laughs> that could last, but uh, I think I only went like maybe two minutes, and then I had to fucking chug down like half a gallon of milk, and then. <laughs> <laughs> to wrap up that, I was doing a podcast because I was I I had a friend over. <laughs> oh man! And uh, I had to I had to cut that fucking podcast short because I 
it just gave me the fucking shits, man. Gave, gave me diarrhea. <laughs> Dying, huh? That's gotta yeah. be the worst part, though. <laughs> like, you think you're done with it. I'm sure you got the fucking runs, and it fucking burns like hell, too, after. Yeah, you gotta make it come yeah. out. I've got yeah, that well, something like that's gonna makes... break down everything inside your stomach if it doesn't fucking burn through your stomach. No, it's gonna push everything out before it's broken down the way it should be. Your body's gonna say, "Get this out of here," and just force it through. <laughs> yeah, I'd be so that's worried about like accidentally like throwing it up or something, and then you just have all that fucking heat just coming back up there again. Oh, oh. Like, stomach acid is bad, that... but Ooh, that on top that was of it, fucking worse. The burping. Oh god damn it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The people they start burping. <laughs> yeah. Dude, That's you're muted. Crazy, man. Uh, I said I don't know. I don't mind it so much going down and my mouth burning. It's just when it's coming out the other end the next you day it hurts the most. No, just you spicy know. shit in general, like real no. spicy shit. Or when it like lingers on your fucking lips. That's I think that's the worst. Mm, Even that doesn't bother I like just, that though. I can deal oh. with all that. It's just the next day. Much it, right? On the toilet. That's when it's bad. Dude, like, I can't do shit for spicy, though. Like, those flaming Hot Cheetos that everybody eats all the time. Nope, I'm a bitch. I can't do it. <laughs> That's too hot for you. Dude, yeah. <laughs> you, dude, ask Paige. My fucking body is so fucking delicate for what I can eat without fucking shit we going used, on. We used to go to breakfast, and um, I get a breakfast omelet, and I usually get jalapenos on it. But I had to stop getting it every morning. We'd go out to breakfast because it upset Mike's stomach. Just the oh jalapenos God. on the omelet would upset Mike's stomach because it was he could smell them and it was too spicy for him. Yeah, crazy. Is Tabasco what, sauce you... okay for you? What? Is Tabasco sauce nope. okay? No, nope. you can't even do that. Man. Well, um, my like, dad even makes... like sniffing a one sauce like too much of it, it'll. Wow. Well, yeah. um, my dad makes chili verde and he uses the ghost peppers in his chili verde, but yeah, he, he made does. two different sets of it. Yeah. And Mike had some and got sick. He didn't have the spicy kind. He had just the regular kind. And it just has like regular hatch peppers in it, I think it is, or hatch chilies. Remote then... was going on. Donating those 250 points to the challenge. Oh. Points to the cause, got boys. Cool. Yo, Duke, I get you guys there, I think. Yeah. Duke. Well, he, you can only donate 2,000 per stream. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. oh. That's a smart idea on my part. Oh. <laughs> you guys notice how Doof didn't even donate any even after I saw that? Nope. <laughs> Doof, donate the points. If you donate some small number like 20 or like 1 or 15 or whatever, I'll snap. Oh, you can do the 2,000. Just do the 2,000. Be a team player. Wait, hold up. Paige, you said you can only do 2,000 2, per stream and you donated 6,000. That's my total. What the fuck do you donate? Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. So, okay. like, I've donated 6,000, but you can only do 6,000 per stream. Or uh, 2,000 per stream. All right, let's see. So you've done 6,000 total. Yeah, 6,000 total, but 2,000 each stream. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So we're at 8,500 points. We are at 0% of our goal. Good job, boys. <laughs> yeah, well, you have it listed, too. Like, it has to be done. What's it's got goal? 26 days before it changes. One month, is... yep. One month, and then I'm going to reset it, or we're going to change it. One else. person can do that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Doof setting up like sixteen accounts to just like sit there and watch it and collect all the points. <laughs> I, did, right. I didn't want to say enough. anything, but the top three channels that have points on this is me. No, they're not. Oh no way! My no bot, way. my boss number one. Oh well, yeah. Okay, I have three. Goal so high though. Spot. <laughs> Re yeah. Remote, the point of it being so high is because I, I'm making no money off of this. Like, <laughs> I'm making no money. So, if I set it to, like, fucking, like, even 300000 or something like that, that means I'm going to be dishing out fucking 60 bucks every two. And, uh, I can't afford that. <laughs> I gotta eat. Correction. Like, a lot. I eat a lot. What? <laughs> he can't afford it. He just refuses to cut some fat from anywhere else. Listen here. This is kind of true. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> that's why people be like, let me explain my finances. And they're like, well, no, that's not true. And no. you win. No, like I, I, I am extremely busy. I think I was telling Paige yesterday. I had to sit down and actually make a schedule for after I get off of work for my week. <laughs> it's true, it's, he did. And then he got mad at me because I was asking him about it. Yeah, it's fuck. Put it at like five hundred thousand. What what we're gonna do is. We're going to I'm going to let this one roll out because it's already started. So basically you guys will just lose all those points for nothing. Yay. Okay. You just got to watch the stream. <laughs> and you, I want to remind you guys, this is completely free. Completely absolutely free. Can you sub, subscribe and then get more points? Yeah, that's how it works. It's not pay to win though. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just doubles your points that you get. It's not. It's no like crazy fucking amount. And it's dude, not even dude half the time is sub to me, right? Because he has Prime, and that's still all the points he has right there. So we'll play it by ear on this one, see how it goes, and then we'll judge it from there. Ninja Starfish. Oh fuck, that is fucking you. I thought that was somebody else. No nope. fucking doof up in here. Look at that doof's clicking on shit, and all of a sudden the views are shitting up. Hmm. 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 Oh. I don't have a job. I'm 14, so I can't sub. Oh, remote. I'm not telling you you have to sub, man. This is for free. It's honestly it started out as me and Mike doing something as friends, and Mike decided he wanted to be famous but not leave the house. Yeah. And that was yeah, kind of how it started. Social. You, yeah, I'm ooh, I, I can't meet people. I'm not good with people. Like um I'm mean to doof when I meet him. Whenever I see him, I'm really mean to Paige. Tomahawk, I haven't met him anywhere other than like barracks and a bowling alley. And we hate Carlo so much, we sent him to Tijuana down there by Guatemala. Hey, how'd you hop that Africa. border again? Or did you get across the river? Which one did you, you dig, do? You dig under it. Under the fence? Uh, the Pacific Ocean is right next to it, so I just got a jet ski and went around. This is, that, is some poor shit. We need to build a fence watching in the ocean. <laughs> uh, he's in the water, man. Can't get him. <laughs> <laughs> that's shit, that's something they do. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh! This also, week, every... how to catch him? <laughs> how to catch a predator? <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> hey, are you that Hanson fella? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. What's it? Mark Hanson, right? That's his name. Chris yeah. Hansen. Chris hey. Hansen. That's fucking. Chris weird. Hansen's here. Oh no. Chris <laughs> I'm a minor. It's <laughs> protect me. I'm sitting here with a big old beard. I'm only twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Beefiest twelve year old I ever seen. Bullshit. There's this one video. Of this fat little fuck. He's just sitting there sucking down eggs and noodles. Just. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm not being racist or anything. Like that's what he was eating. I okay. fucking saw. Okay. I fucking saw. Ooh, what, what's our you goal didn't at mention, now? You, you no, didn't mention fish. the race of anybody, so I don't see how that oh. became racist. Because you said eggs and, and noodles. Oh, no, because I'm picturing the video in my head. And, uh, yeah. Guys, we are at 1% of our goal right now. We are at 10. Fucking dude. We're at 10,500. You guys are fucking badass. But no, um... Oh gosh, no, yeah, it's like Paige said. This started off as just a little hobby thing, and then we grew it into a very shittily run mini empire. Hey, uh, episodes have you guys done so far? Uh, 38. 38? This is 38, right? Or is this 39? To be honest, I just knew we were in the 30s and it wasn't 35. It could be 36. It could be well, we've only it could be 38. It can be 39. This can be I think 40. this is 36. I think this is 36. Because we ended last season on 33. We did the one with Tomahawk, and then we did the one where we we're supposed to have the other guest. Um, but then that this got is all 36. Up and then, yeah, so this is gonna be 36. Yeah. Yep. Let's just call it 40 so we can get to 500,000 points, right? Let's do it like that. Five. <laughs> 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 Doof with the 2,000 points. Oh, my God. Guys, this is good thing. 
the video's not going to YouTube this week. And uh, you guys want to you guys want to see my reaction to all this? You got to go to twitch.tv forward slash Militello. Like that plug? Mm. Mm. Uh, Militello spelled M I L L I T E L L O. Militello. But yeah. not like the one in Sicily. Those bastards are coming for you with all of your pasta and your, all of your cannolis. Ooh, I'll put it in your cannoli. I'm going to cream fill your. Never mind. I'll be, hey, I'll this be is... back. Back, I'm gonna go get a, a brew. Okay. Okay. All right. By the way, we do promote drinking on this show. Um, just wait, guys. One day I will fall off the wagon and I'm gonna get shammered on this show. And uh, Emily will probably leave me then. <laughs> if I mail you, fight. Mike, if There's I mail you a cowboy hat, hear me out. If I mail you a cowboy hat, like a real uh -huh. true blue cowboy hat. Okay. Will you get whiskey drunk and pretend to be a cowboy and like a whole cowboy get up with the hat on? Yes. Nope. Yeah. No, nope. only you'll leave me. If you pretend to be a cowboy? We we've got this whole master plan. We've been planning out like the next couple of years. Well, what's the plan? And, oh, I can <laughs> Every plan them. turns every plan is either me becoming a full-time musician, a full-time streamer and just having her support. That's how it all, and she's totally okay with every plan ending up. Oh that no, way. no, she's not okay with every plan. Um, the <laughs> Have you talked to her about all these plans, or these just plans that you've made and oh, just no, thrown no, out we there? Talk, we talk about these plans, uh -huh. but uh, like she suggested, I start my own business. What kind of business? She sug um, I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. I oh, kind of want to be a farmer. We've been talking Mike, about getting a farm. No, Mike, you don't want to be a farmer. You're in love with the idea of farming. You're not in love be cool, with actually. farming. I would like to be a farmer. That would be fun. Oh, I would no, be. We can hear in Tijuana, and uh, I'll, I'll show you the ropes of farming. Dude, you guys have this thing down there called the fucking sun that'll kill me. No, wait, hear me <laughs> out. We start our own avocado cartel. Fucking, I hate avocados. You don't have to like the avocados. You trade the avocados for cocaine and hookers. Human trafficking and cocaine will be our big thing, but we'll grow avocados and trade them to the other cartels. <laughs> it's an actual currency that they use. I'm not even joking. 110%. The hipsters in California and like New York and shit like that, they eat so many avocados that the cartels have started trafficking avocados into the States. This isn't the bad part. The bad part is I'll die in the sun. No, we'll build you a little villa. With a little sun deck so that way you're shaded and it'll have grapevines. And then you can do your Italian accent and it'll throw off all the dudes there, all the Mexican guys that are like, dude, this is like Mexico. Just speak with a Mexican accent. But you'll be like, Carlos, you come here on the day of my cannoli dinner to ask me for this a favor. And he'll be like, look, man, that's, I don't have a good Mexican accent. I'm sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> I can do like a troll thing, like, hey, I said, what are you doing? Like, I could do one of those, but that's not like what the cartels say. They, like, they just have like a regular Spanish accent. So, <laughs> all right, my boys. Well, cheers. I'm drinking a Stone Cold Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin Broken Skull. Ooh, Did nice. you guys see Ooh. the video I sent you? The Stone Cold Steve Autism video? Clink, clink. I don't drink alcohol, but I got an energy. Did nobody see that in the uh, Discord? In I, the I, I watched it, but I was at work, so I didn't have audio. So I had no fucking <laughs> idea what was going on. What's the video? Uh, I, I did not see this video. Okay, so if you go to Discord and look at our meme page after we get done, um, have you seen that video of the, um, what's the right word? Retarded kid that comes out with two beer bottles and just smashes them together in the pool. Oh, yeah. And then fuck. starts chugging. So <laughs> Here, Count, Dankula, Count Dankula did a video of it, like, like just kind of responding to it in a sense. And it's only like three minutes. But he comes out and he's like, look at this pure man. This absolute mad Where'd lad. you send it? It's in the meme page. Of course. In Discord. Page. Yeah. Okay. I see a goblin. Uh, some goblin. It's a uh, Down syndrome, right? And then he, yeah, so he it's gonna be him. it's gonna be a guy that's like it's gonna say Count Dankula to Electric Boogaloo. Page, what? Do you notice you're the only fucker posting in here? That's why you made the uh, one. I've got some. <laughs> it, dude, if you look at this compared to how much <laughs> fucking pages put in here, it's <laughs> it's not a damn thing. Count Count Dankula. Yeah. 
Dude, there's so much stuff in here. There's Dude, it's like, in it's, here. Like the, it's like the Please don't one. feed the horse the drugs. Like, <laughs> there's a no, lot no, going no, on. Two, there's three. so much. I'm not honey. I was going to show. show right, it's there. literally the one right before you sent the one that says training a new employee at work. Oh, it's the one right before that? I yeah. I lost it. Just scroll I, to the bottom. Is, there's no nudity or anything in this, right? No, there's no nudity. It's just so a dude right, that comes up. Oh, it's the guy. Okay, so cool. Okay, here we go. Of course, I got no fucking audio. <laughs> I got no audio, so. Well, maybe if I play it, will it come through for you guys? I don't know. Probably not. It's all good. It's all good. We don't. <coughs> I don't need it in my life. I just flashed all my fucking Discord information to the stream anyway, so that's... Congrats, that's everyone. You now have his bank account. Ooh. Just kidding. Mike doesn't have one. He keeps it under a mattress. Not his mattress, but a mattress. <laughs> I keep it in the dog's hey, bed. There's a hole in the dog's bed there and just fucking stabs a hole in it, just stuffing, stuffing pennies in there. <laughs> I'm telling but you, yeah, one no. day, pennies will be the new nickels. Not for a while. That's more like dimes of the new pennies. Because of hyperinflation. I don't know. Oh, I tried buying one of those uh, one uh, thingamajiggers the other day. The Space or whatever. Or the XLMs. <laughs> I tried. I couldn't figure out the fucking app. Dude, what's it was he talking different. about? Uh, I don't know. I have no fucking clue. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a real fucking thing. Sure it is, buddy. <laughs> It is. It just shot up like. Are you talking day. about Dogecoin or Bitcoin? No, no, it's after it's Dogecoin. Dude. It's not Dogecoin, but the one so after. It's a cryptocurrency. Can't think of Dogecoin. Mean, it's a coin. What do you mean? It's the one after Dogecoin? They're not like organized. It's about a billion different <laughs> cryptocurrencies. No, it's, that's like saying like XLM? you buy it with dollars. You're like, no, the one after XLM. the dollar, like the Canadian dollar. I don't. XLM. Uh, Ethereum. M. XL, uh, let, me, let me go on to my coin stuff here. Stel Stellar? Stellar? Um, Stellaris? That's a game. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I missed out on it because I couldn't because it fucking shot up 200%. I was about to drop 200 bucks on it. and Dude, Mike, you can still drop 200 bucks on it because Bitcoin went from like 1000 well, back in, what was it, 2019, like the end of 2019, Bitcoin was like at four grand, and now it's priced over 63000 Yeah, well, I bought it, I, Dogecoin like at eight cents, and right now it's at 32 cents, so. Woo! Yeah, I bought it at four cents. I need to, I'm going to drop like $250. On I Bitcoin. don't know how to buy this crap. Just go to Robinhood. Like, I tried linking my bank account. I thought Robinhood Ooh. got in trouble. Yeah, they did. They yeah, fucked did. a bunch of people over. Yeah. They did. After, they did. yeah, I don't trade oh. with them anymore. Yeah, right, it's crazy how they did something this. super illegal and nothing happened to them besides like a stern talking to from Congress. All right, let's mm -hmm. see. It's download ridiculous. This right now. So I don't, I don't trade with that app. Yeah. Robin Hood. Don't, don't get Robin Hood. Um, don't get Robin Hood. Like, it's already downloading. You should have don't it to look it. at stuff, but don't buy stuff off of it. I'll send you the, the like, recommendation. Stock. Where do I buy it's it? It's really good. But there's, there's other do apps. you want to buy the Dogecoin stock or do you want to buy Dogecoin itself? I don't yeah. fucking know the difference. You got crypto.com, you got Coinbase. Um, there's a couple Just give different... me an ass. Ass. Give me an ass. Crypto.com. <laughs> Coinbase. I see Coinbase right here. All right, download that one. It does, it's not on Coinbase though yet. I don't you, think. I, if it is I got... brand new. Okay, well, let's. Look right now. For okay. fuck's sake. This is like, just put one spot where I can get all of them. The point well, is that it's decentralized so no one can control it. That's what makes it so valuable. No, I should be able to buy it on any one of these apps, though, right? No, well, that's, each, that's... each website has different coding, so you have to have that specific one. So Bitcoin had to have certain coding to get onto those certain websites so you can buy it from that website directly to it. So they have to create the coding to go onto different websites. Dude, I'm so just going to invest... A little bit. I'm going to invest two grand in Pornhub stock. Like, that's, that's but I would plan. go... <laughs> <laughs> Crypto.com is the best one. That's what I got. Like, project Pornhub. Embrace. Coinbase. 
Coinbase. Oh my God. Coinbase. <laughs> we fishing for, that, for them uh, coins, boys. Fish festival this weekend, huh? Yes. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> that's that's real good, actually. Excellent um, segue. Yeah, yeah, that was actually really good, Tom. You didn't send much this whole podcast, but good job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, this this weekend, um, Trout Zilla Fest in Kalkaska, Michigan. Um, my band will be playing. I did get the set list. Um, I'm not first, but I'm not last. I don't know. I don't think I'm allowed to announce that. But shh. <laughs> um, but no, it should be a really good show. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I listened to this last weekend to the other bands that are playing, and uh, some are good. Some some are pretty good. Some are pretty good. Um, that actually so means something. If Mike says you're good at music, um, with his inflated oh, ego, no, 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 no. The songs were good. Like I, I find <laughs> beauty and simplicity of a lot of songs. Like if a song can be really <clears throat> simple and still be like a really good song. And uh if you're able to do that, I hey no. But uh that was not the case. At least on the ones I heard. Um I, I have to be careful because I've been told specifically by my band to watch what I say on these things. Um on like saying on everything music? on the internet. Like I'm not allowed to talk in interviews. I'm not allowed to set up anything. Why? I just don't write my big. songs. No, I like know. You're not the Beatles. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm not allowed to do anything for the band anymore. Which, I, hey, makes my yeah. life easier. Well, but, do you have like no, one of the guys so. in your band trying to do the whole PR <laughs> thing? Or are they just scared you're going to fuck it all yeah. up? I, I just told once we do hit that, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> Dude, fuck yeah, it. You you remember when they were doing it anymore. When they were you doing the Avengers press negativity. And... Oh, I probably would. Yeah, I've said some pretty bad no. things in band practice here. But like on the internet, every time we do this stuff, you don't say anything that that's bad that would ruin you being the, the band. Right? A lot. That's yeah, the word. I talked about putting my dick in a burrito. Well, who hasn't? You know, I talked about yeah. doing uh, wintergreen meth. I've Making talked... wintergreen okay. meth. I've talked about enslaving children. <laughs> Well, I mean, they already do that in Africa, so it's normal. I've where do you think batteries come from? Anywhere is it's the, the fucking rabbits, dumbass. Wait, did it's you say batteries come from rabbits? Yeah, that's how they charge. No, <laughs> there's, there's a mineral in the ground, and they put children under there, and they just kind of scoop it out with shovels and plastic uh, buckets. I, I do not believe you. Coinbase, <laughs> I got Coinbase. Everybody, look at that. I got Oh fuck! Hey, turn my phone off. <laughs> Actually, the button there. I'm not good with nice. technology, oh. so I get really sketchy, uh, like connecting my bank account to shit and whatnot. I mean, you they're not gonna fuck up yet. my credit. You can't make it anywhere. If you can, it's really impressive. Like, Somehow, have you guys ever seen a negative credit score? <laughs> right <no>. here. <laughs> yeah, I found a way. It's pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah, but right, my credit I can, score. I can help you out with house. That. Huh? Help y'all setting the, setting up the account. Just give me the numbers, and uh, I'll, I'll do that for you. No worries. All right, everybody. My social security number is seven eight one forty five two ten. Like yeah, that phone I'm number is uh, number. It, it's seven two six three three two. Yeah, is that it? <laughs> I I I don't think that's enough there. Oh yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Ooh. Sp- what was that? Ooh, I heard it. Ooh, that was Tomahawk. Oh, he sneezed real good. I couldn't hear him over that fucking nasty so, stash. The um, yeah. the Nero. Why do you keep link? covering your mouth? Have you heard about the Nero? I don't know. It's just like a comfort thing I do. Like, cause like I I, I don't like my smile. So like I like mm-hmm. to I do that sometimes. As, like, oh, a you gotta get a beard, to man. My smile. In Japan, that's a, a very feminine thing to do because women want to hide their mouths. So they seem meek and because all the dicks they've sucked. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, not. bro. It, Anyways, the Neuralink from Elon Musk. Have you guys heard about that? Yeah, no, the monkey playing that? Pong. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it's basically an implant they want to put into your brain to make yes. you just smart and do anything. So they can be like, hey, I'm going to implant this in your brain. You now know Spanish. Yes. <laughs> that, be hard, so the hard Neuralink optimize is... Was that going to be a hard, a hard pass on me? Uh, 
I think uh, English is bad. W- once you start start talking shit in uh, Spanish, you yeah. to be hacking people. <laughs> puto. What? No, chinga tu madre, puto. That's the only word you know? What? Mucho grande pinto. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, you know Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, Carlos probably over here losing his fucking mind. Like, these fucking I don't fucking want to be reading people's <laughs> minds. <laughs> so, so, like, oh, God. Well, I was listening to some people talk about it, and someone brought up a good point. To, like, it, if, you're, if your neural link gets hacked and it's output only, <laughs> then it's not an issue because nobody can, like, fuck with your brain or, like, any of your internal stuff. But if it's sure. input and output, then people can really start fucking with your shit. Yeah, you like, hack in there. You yeah. just be, like, shut off, and then you shut off their brain, and then they just, mm, just mm. pass out. Like, <laughs> just like the oh, cyberpunk retarded. intro. I'm gonna give them the... <laughs> Give them the Down syndrome really quick. I mean, yeah, it could be us like being like old fashioned ways of liking change, <clears throat> and I get that. But I mean, everything's working decent enough. We just need to start pissing through our natural resources right now. So fuck up the next generation. I've seen the movie iRobot. I know how this goes. Uh, hey, you know Smith? what I worry about? Uh, artificial intelligence. Like, I, I wonder if. Ever go through whatever fucking social media we have, movies, and then they just see fucking humans just bash I and and they're gonna eventually think we're the enemy. That's oh yeah. Shit that that's that's head. what happens in fucking Terminator, isn't it? That's the no. whole premise of, um, of Skynet. Mm-mm. The Skynet was designed as nah. super intelligence or a super intelligent AI for the military applications to protect you. Of, no, to protect the U.S. Yeah. But then it assimilated with, I think it was the Chinese or Chinese-Russian AI. And then it came to the conclusion that all humans were essentially um, That's the part of a threat. We were using them for war. And they're like, well, yeah, <laughs> if you're using us for war and then they're using us for war, like all humans shouldn't be alive because everyone's just using us to kill things. And exactly. That's and that's so what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. If we kill them, we don't have to fight anymore. That's kind of. I don't want to brag, but I've talked about Skynet pretty frequently on the podcast, and he has. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. yeah. Every got, er, almost every podcast description has Skynet or Sarah Connor in it. Sarah Connor by Skynet. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't end up killing her, so. Yeah, but they tried to. That's yeah. why I said Sarah Connor. They tried to kill us, but they couldn't. Oh, but they can't kill us. Okay. Okay. When did she die? I, I, I'm aware, unaware. Who the fuck can't she speak? died in number three number of natural two. causes. No, she was dead in number two, wasn't she? Because number two, I thought they went to her grave there and, and like busted open her tomb there, and it was actually just filled with fucking guns. Yeah, because she was dead. She was in a mental hospital, was it? She wasn't dead. Wasn't dead though. No, Th- that has to be number two then. Because yeah. she is dead in number three. Yeah. Because that's of old. natural causes. Yes. So number two, yes, okay. So she yeah. I don't mean to brag, but I'm kind of an expert on Sky. He now. knows his Terminators. Are, are yeah. you proud of that? Yeah. Do you not like Terminator? It's a great show. No, it's it's not a show, it's a movie. No, it's they've a movie got a TV series. series. No, oh my god, that's even worse. If the movie has a TV show, that's a sign that it's not good. Well, it's because there's multiple different timelines that they have to protect, and every time you change one timeline, you have to loop back around and then fix all the other shit. X Men. Look, X Men didn't get time travel right because Mixer X. Nobody gets it right. Terrible. Nobody gets it right. right. Back to the Future. Come on. They were wrong. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't fuck your mom in the past, what yeah, are you doing with you. your life when you time future. travel? Come on, man. Back <laughs> to the future, bro. Dude, it's called Back to the Future. They go to the fucking past. They fucked it up with the title. Well, didn't they go to the future Well, once? well yeah. What? To the future. I don't know yeah, why they, they didn't call it. To the future. Because well, the no, first they one went they go to back the past. to the past. No, the first, yeah, the first one they went to the 50s, and then the second one they went back to old Western times and turned it into no, a spaghetti three. western. Oh, is that number, number three, two? they went to the Western Time, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know why they didn't call it number two Back to the Past. That would have been amazing. Because everyone was like, Back to the Past, this is a knockoff of Back to the Future. And then I'm going to see Marty McFly and be like, Marty's in this one? That's bananas. <laughs> <laughs>
No, I know he's got a real name. I just forget what his name is. <laughs> they did a spinoff of uh, Michael yes. J. Parkinson's. No, he's no. got Parkinson's. Michael J. Oh. Fox. Oh. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. <laughs> He's he's oh in God, the new TV show. Three. What's he doing? Oh, he's in. The, he's uh, shaking the parmesan at an Italian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no. There's this. Um, it was uh, after they finished that seventy show. They did that eighties show, and uh, the guy from that. It's always sunny in Philadelphia is like the main character on it. The short uh, guy? No, uh, not the short guy. Who who's the brother? The dumb one. So, that's not specific at all. <laughs> the tall one? The the the, the same one. Like the serial one. killer one. No, he's like a straight up serial killer. Dennis is uh is that yeah, is it Dennis? Sweet knee's brother. Danny DeVito's son in that show. He's like the main one who owns the bar there. Really skinny one. Not the one who gets buff, not the little short one with the squealy beard and whatnot, but the other dude. Not Danny the one that doesn't have facial hair? Yes. Okay. Yes. But he's in it, and he's rocking this fucking mop top, and he is fucking terrible in it. Everybody is terrible in it. It was... Ooh. If they gave him cocaine, it would have been more realistic. No. <laughs> you know, because of the 80s. No, they they didn't do a good job with it. It was more like, oh, hey, throw this 80s thing at you, this specific 80s thing. It wasn't like that 70s show where you could relate to it. Where the 70s like related stuff was just peripheral to the show <laughs> itself. Well, it's just the way they wrote the script for the show, you know? I mean, it, it is slightly different. You know, where Eric's asking for an 8-track player, and then kids were asking for, you know, those new stereo systems there in their cars. On TV or but, was it like on Netflix or something? I, I never heard of this one. Uh, it, show. I think there's like half of a season, and I don't know where you can find it. Uh, no, I, mean, I, I well, sorry, you find a little bit of it on YouTube, and it's not fucking good. But you know what is on YouTube? Absolutely free, and you can get every single episode. The Red Green PewDiePie. Show. Um, I do love the Red Green Show. It's so good. <laughs> Red Green Show is better than PewDiePie. The Red Green Show is so pure and wholesome that my super Mormon bishop uncle that's an accountant for the church watches it and finds it hysterical. This man fixes everything with duct tape. Paige loves this show, and get this, it's Canadian. Yeah. If the Red Green guy, Ooh. I don't remember his name, I just know he's got red and green suspenders, wants to come to America. That's his name, his, his Uncle Red. Yeah. He's welcome. He gets my <laughs> seal of approval. Him and Harold. That's be it. the fucking uh, <clears throat> the fuck was it? The executive. I can't fucking. I, I can't. But I, I was dealing with all the money in the Mormon Church as well. I was uh, fucking. That's what was it called. Altar boy. Terry or some shit. Executive, no, sec- oh. executive secretary. What the? <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't know was... the church system. So. Well, they have like. Want to ask on that? You know, they have like regular jobs, and they have like church jobs. If that makes sense. So like, they have like accountants. And- it was called a no, our calling, or that's what they would call it. Our calling, archaeology. No, no, archaeology. Took the, the, the money. Did you say archaeology. Gave to the- <laughs> no, no. <laughs> calling. Gave to the bishop. Oh, oh, okay, for the bishop, yeah. right? They don't have a bishop in the Mormon church, do they? Yes, they do. Bro, oh, I thought dude, it was called something I'm else. gonna. No. Come on, man. Uh-huh. I lived in Utah for two years. Yeah, Paige lived there his whole life. <laughs> like, I know right? <laughs> you lived there like this more than me, and you, and you still didn't get to know like anything about that place or oh, me, around no. there. The only thing Mike learned was the Mormons practiced polygamy at one point, and he was super stoked. And I said they I, stopped doing that, and then he got mad and decided to stop going to church. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, no, I went. I went to church once. I told his mom if she didn't do any projects at her house or at our house for like I think it was a week, I would go to church. She never met that, but I felt bad, and I went anyways. Yeah, and she still talks about it too. It was, she said it's her second favorite service she's been to. No, it oh. was like everybody's wearing like like really nice, you know, dress up stuff. I'm rocking like khakis and like a polo shirt, and I've got my <laughs> arm tattoo just sticking out, and like, oh, this boy needs shaving. Dude, my whole and everybody and their you. mom came up to us. 
Yeah. Well, they, my ward members still ask how you're doing. They're like, hey, how's your friend doing? I'm like, Michael, like, yeah, was he the nice kid that came with your mom? I was like, yeah. I'm like, oh. Was, was he that man your mom was having an affair with? No, they don't ask that. They just say oh, that's that. that's why I telling everybody. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. It's all good. You can call me dad. <laughs> I'm not going to call you anything like that. Dad, daddy, whatever. <laughs> it's all good. I don't need polygamy because I found the greatest woman ever. I would just like to point out for the record for our audio listeners, he winked and said two more with his fingers. Two more? <laughs> two more what? Like it, when you're at a bar and you order two more drinks, you put them up like that. Oh, no, I meant like, hey, peace. Peace and love. So there's Twice. no fighting when she finds out. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, Mike left two whole families here when he took off. He said, this isn't for me. <laughs> He, he found out that women sneak period. up on their period and just couldn't handle it. I find out. I found out women out there have litters of fucking children. I fucking ran. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's pretty intense. Ooh, you can tell you've met like a really Mormon girl when on the third date they start asking you about your wedding. You're like, <laughs> let's pump all the brakes on this fucking. But truck. really, the only reason they're asking Paige about that is because they're trying to find out if he has a house to because they live behind the Seven <laughs> Eleven. First of all, they live in their car, so they're not totally destitute. And second of all, I didn't have a house when I was dating the homeless lady, so. Oh, I sorry. Yeah. But, yes, you hit him up after you got the house, though. Yeah. You? Oh, yeah. The homeless lady. Yeah. No, she had, I she's like, what have you been up to? And, yeah, I was like, and then moved. Thank you yeah. very much. Because <laughs> we were spending all our days in his mother's basement that's right it'd be Paige and i all day we'd be sitting in this like little shitty couch uh, and we have two tvs set up one one was on a stand the other one was on like a couch another couch like on a lazy boy there and we just sit there and play games i wasn't even employed i had no i had no job like my first month there you gotta admit that was pretty fun yeah until i was wondering oh shit well this is my life i'm not gonna be able to <laughs> I dropped everything, and it, it did work. I got a really great job, and if I didn't fucking hate Utah so fucking much, I would totally have kept that job because I'd be making more money there already. I'd probably be making probably about twenty-one bucks an hour right now already if I would have stayed there with how long I was there and how often I got raises, which is nowhere near as much as I make right now. Right now, I I I'm gonna quit my job. And I'm gonna do Twitch full time, and uh, and I'm gonna let Emily support me because I feel like that's the right thing to do. Well, I'm about to move out to rural Utah, so if you want to come out here and buy your farm, nope. you can get a Ooh, job at the nope. steel. That's deal. actually nicer. No, nope. yeah, nope. that is a nicer nope. area. Not no. Right now, I, I'm shooting for Tennessee. I'm thinking Tennessee. Ew. Nope. Music scene is fucking huge in Nashville. Yeah, for country yes. singing. Tomahawk, you want no, to move out no, to Utah no, when no. we get out? Let me go, let me now we're going to stay in Texas. If yeah. I was to go to Utah, I'd go to St. George. Ooh, with George. all the old people and the Dixies? Yeah, I bro. thought you were going to just say the Dixies. It's only like an, the old people in the an hour. <laughs> it's about an hour to Vegas. From St. George? Yeah. But you can still do yeah. the same drive from anywhere else in Utah. And yeah, from and then you got like the desert because I like the warm, hot desert. And then if you wanted to, while it's like uh, the winter, you could just drive cool. up north like thirty minutes an hour, and then you're in the snow and you can go snowboarding and then Did come back down to the nice weather. What? The big what? Geek? That was me. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got to take the trash. What? I also, take the trash um, do you guys, <laughs> do you guys watch the? Uh, do you guys have Disney Plus? No. Uh, I forgot how to log in. I mean, I've paid for it for like the last four months. I haven't even logged in. Produced a new Captain America. It's not. He's not really a new Captain America. But new Captain actor, America. It's Kurt. Are you serious? I uh, there's a new Captain America. You don't know Captain America? I know who he is. It's Chris Evans. Oh. Well, they got a new one now because he died. Chris uh, Evans still in a TV alive. show. Uh, no, he's dead in, in the in the in the Avengers. You know, he died in the Avengers. Yeah. And a new one with a new actor, and it's Kurt Russell's son. Oh, that's stupid. Get, get Kurt Russell. And he's... No, no. <laughs> yeah. 
Get, I'm your new Captain America right here. See, this is America's Dude. beard. Okay. And he, and he plays body. his, like, age. America's body, yeah. <laughs> America's body. Statistically, like, you guys, right, you know. Squeeze me into some fucking tights. I'll wing a fucking shield around. Just be like, oh, oh my god, fuck this. There was a, a part in the movie with, uh, I think it was one of the Avengers one that plays Ant-Man was walking and then uh, Chris Evans like like fell down and stuff and he's like that's America's ass and he was like staring oh. at his ass. <laughs> that's the last one there. That's the last one where they're doing the time traveling there. And they... Yeah, he's that's like America's ass. I was like, yes. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I, Captain America the first Avenger is still probably my favorite Avenger. Either. Well, did you because I had Tommy Lee Jones in it. Did you hear about the uh, mm. new Captain America uh, comic book that came out and people are trying to figure out like why the Nazis don't seem so bad in it? Uh, I didn't even hear about that. <laughs> so, I can't... Uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates, I think is the lady's name, or Ta-Nehisi something, wrote, uh, is like the new writer for this yeah, new she, comic She wrote it, yeah. Yeah. But um, a lot of the stuff they used for Red Skull is like jordan peterson related kind of stuff so uh they're talking about like how kids are falling into the dark web and they're coming back like changed but then it shows like clips or like little screenshots of like the stuff that you say and it's like you need to clean your room and be a better person and, and all these people have been like aren't the nazis supposed to be really bad like he's just telling you like general rules to not be a bad person and i guess there's well, no. like a whole What's when up? Nazis were around, they were super strict and they were like, you need to do this but like this way, this way, so they established certain routines and they had to have the kids act in certain ways, so it's like a strict thing for the kids. Yeah, it shouldn't but be like, like a nice but, thing, but... Well, so like, you know how like Red School's like over the top world domination kind of a thing? Yeah, he's just a dick. He's just like, kill everything. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, they the way he's written, it's just kind of like, you know, like your uncle that's just kind of telling you like, hey man, like you're struggling, here's some advice that'll help you get through it. Yeah. It's not like He's not sitting there like we need to kill all this one oh. group of people, or like we need to kill so He's like from Red Skull. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like I, it's yeah, Red. That, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's way like, out of character for him. Yeah, it's like the most rational arguments about like how to improve your life coming from Red Skull, and a bunch of people like like Marvel fans are like why is Red Skull the Red Skull not seem like as bad, and it's just been this funny thing that's kind of been popping off, which I think is hilarious. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Captain America sense. just just has his room in a mess, or, or well, going so on? like, so like, the, I guess the whole premise of this new series is like these young men they go on the internet because they they don't have purpose or something, and then they find the Red Skull giving these lectures, and so then they leave these lectures, and they become like ultra nationalists and like super like routine and like disciplined, and it's somehow ruining everything. I don't know, but like they're like, oh, you know, I, I cleaned my room and got in shape. And now they're bad people because they cleaned their room and got in shape. And but like the way that they've written Red Skull, it's not like this crazy over the top character of a Nazi where he's like world domination, we're the perfect race, make the perfect person. And it's just like some guy on the internet basically saying like, you know, clean your room, get in shape, find something productive, learn a new skill. And people are like, he seems real shitty. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's nothing like crazy over the top. It's like here's a very rational explanation. It's like oh, okay, way to make Nazis seem incredibly human. They didn't do anything terrible after all, apparently. We don't hate the Jews. Well, I just, just figured not... my purpose like two weeks ago, so I guess that makes me a Nazi you now. <laughs> what was your purpose? I guess so, your purpose? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Anything, Mike. Anything can be your purpose. You just my gotta purpose. find. My purpose is to not get in. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> go to jail. I I know what they do to men with beards. Okay, they just fucking they grab each side there like this, and then they just fucking mouth fuck on them. <laughs> so if I don't go to jail, I I ain't fucking dumb. I know what they do. See, why do you think Duke don't leave his house? <laughs> you can't get. It's a lot easier to not get arrested if you don't leave the house. Yeah. What would you get arrested for? I don't know. I do stupid shit all the time. It would be. St- it would be some petty crime, so you wouldn't be in some like crazy. Have you ever like, walked around and you realize people are like first down on accident? Dicks fly out of zipper holes all the time, man. Children are fucking everywhere. This, don't you tuck it in your pant leg? Out. What? Wait, what? Don't you just tuck your dick in your pant leg? No. Why? Why wouldn't you tuck all the way down your sock? It's too small. Oh. Sometimes you just let it hang out, man. You put a 
Especially if you work at a restaurant, you cover it with the apron, and nobody knows. And Until you turn around a little bit too quick, because my mic is just... never like in the same spot. A couple days, he keeps moving. This is why he's got people looking for. Him. They're like, where was that like a big, a big what tomahawk? Go ahead. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You, you said we were talking about dicks falling out of pants, and you said, "Well, you just got to find a big," and then stopped immediately. No, yeah, stopped. so you got to get a a big black bar, right? That looks like a sensor bar, and then just attach it to your penis and just walk around with that. You know, if women could put little tassels on their nipples, you could put a little sensor bar on your penis and walk around. So I feel like a little, little tassel <laughs> on the end of my dick, like over that the can go cover it up, like a black balloon uh, kind of. Like and then, it, ooh, and then I can just piss and then make it bigger and bigger, and then I can just swing that around there. Like I oh fucking land. That's the most threatening <laughs> thing. I'm going to do. jail. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes a little bit of wintergreen coke. <laughs> meth. Wintergreen winter meth. meth. Yes, thank you. A little, green meth. little bit of wintergreen meth. meth wintergreen fucking... coke would just destroy your sinuses. Yeah. Wintergreen coke. That's in production. We can't. We can't put that. Well, on you can. Yet. You can use coke in your mouth. You just put your fingers meth. in and just run your nose. Snorting gun. mint alone would destroy your nose. Yeah. Millie snow. Oh, you know, would it not? Mm. It probably open it up, kind of like when you put um, that Vicks vapor on your nose there. It'd no, be like that, right? No, yeah. it really stuffs you up for a minute. Like how long's a minute? So, but if I put some of the Vicks in, in there with it, when I no, the- no, 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 don't do that. No, look, if you're gonna do coke, Mike, if you if you're gonna do it, you just set on doing cocaine. Just run it through your gums. All right, you're just gonna lick your your index finger. Along the I mean, length, stick it in the bag, and then you're just gonna run your gums real good. So, so I, I'm not sure on the pricing, but I feel like if I cancel my gym membership, since obviously I won't need to go to the gym anymore to lose weight, and then this is gonna be a much better alternative. <laughs> like, how much coke do I need to do to lose weight? You're gonna need to do a lot of coke. Like, how much is a lot? A Have lot. you ever seen someone that looks healthy that does a lot of coke? Um, I don't know a lot of people that do a lot of coke. I don't tend to hang out with those people. The, okay, well, let's not start. How about that? Keep your gym membership. Dude, I... Oh, shit. Ah! What the no, fuck is pretty, going on in there? I don't know. I'm fucking shit. There we go. I fixed it. Wait, what? I was, I was fucking up the stream here. I fucked it all up. But I fixed it. Oh, uh, okay. It. Oh, actually, now is a great time. I can shout out sponsors for my Twitch then, right? So we're doing this on Twitch? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't do it regularly. I don't know how. Well, I don't have the link. I mean, I do have the link. I mean, I could give it to you to toss on in there. So screw it. Let's do an ad read. Do you guys like beef jerky? Who the fuck doesn't? You guys trying to get some awesome, good quality beef jerky at a good quality price? Empire Jerky is your place to go do that. If you enter, if you go ahead and click the link, either in my Twitch panels there or where we will. Apply down there in the description and use promo code Militello checkout. You get 5% off your order. That's fucking right. You can stock up. I know the fucking world's going to end here soon. Why not stock up in beef jerky? I think about it. If you get 500 pounds and you get 5% off, that's like as much as it would cost as 5% of 500 is. I don't fucking know, but it's less. <laughs> Check out it jerky today. And remember, Get some meat in your mouth. Put our meat uh, in your mouth. Fuck, I tried. I tried. Put our meat in your mouth. That you one. can put my meat in your mouth if you want tomahawk. I like mustaches. Should I just do, should I just do both of them now? Or okay. I, yeah, I, I mean, we're already a little hour in. I'll do this. Hey, guys. Do you like playing video games? But are you getting real tired once you hit about hour 22 in that 24-hour stream? And you start trying to negotiate a way out of it? Like, hey, let's make it a 24-hour stream instead. And then you start crying for deep. <laughs> Decap. Well, instead of going through all that fucking bullshit, go to Swift Lifestyles. They got some awesome. It's, it's like this is like the gym rants there where they can free work out there, but this is specifically for gamers. Your heart, heart should not explode from it. They have these shakers there that you can get there and shake it all up. And they got some like, hey, COVID's going around. I think it's still an epidemic. I have no idea. Pandemic, microwavable pandemic. I don't fucking know. Tupperware. I, just, you get your gummies there as well to stay healthy on. Top of that, and why not rock some awesome merch while you're there? Get that Swift Lifestyles 
t-shirt so that you can tell everybody how swift you are. Um, link to that is also going to be down there in the description as well as in my Twitch panel there. You can check that out. And then if you guys use uh, mil- promo code Militello at checkout, that that's it. Oh, that can't be fucking right. Oh my god, it is. 15% off your order. That's 15% today. That's 15% tomorrow. And guess what? That's fucking 15% yesterday. Check it out. What's that mouth do, though? Uh, right in the middle of it. Battery. Perfect. Check out Swift Lifestyles today. Use that promo code Militello. 15% off your order. Uh, Swift Lifestyles when you need to get Swifty. I spit all over the fucking pop filter. That's dope. That was good. That was really good. And I spit on the pop filter. Thank you. <clears throat> no, no. The uh, Mike, why am I not good. surprised you're a spitter? <laughs> <laughs> Let's it, it's got slobber on it a bit. What'd you say, Paige? Uh-huh. Oh, I said, why are you not, or why am I not surprised you're a spitter? But it also makes sense you'd be slobbery too. I'm still amazed I have sponsors. <sighs> People. Like, I have to get approved for both of those sponsorships. That means they had to go there, review my channel. <laughs> and they were like, you know who I want as a face of, my, of this company? That guy. <laughs> I can't wait for Empire Jerky to do, like, these outdoor initiatives so they make you go out camping. You're going to be pissed off and just go sit in your backyard. <laughs> every, every 40 minutes, go outside and, like, do a quick update. Like, I disabled oh. that doof, you fuck. I disabled it, you dirty fucking cheater. <laughs> He's trying to do commands here to add points to himself. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. No, but no, it'd be like, do you hate I it can just be me out there getting ready to fucking just tr- pretending to chop wood and like, ah, fuck this. And then I just sit down there and I start eating some jerky. Like, try Empire jerky. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of wildlife's coming. Like, oh, it's a bears. And then instead of eating me, they just, they just fuck me. Holy shit! Hey, right now you just brought up the bears. Uh, did you hear about that that guy who was fucking fishing in uh, was it Yellowstone or Yosemite? Fucking grizzly bear just mauled him. That sounds like right. Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yeah. Oh, did you guys? Did you guys see the video of that uh, guy fucking pulling that bobcat off of his? Oh, fucking oh yeah, I just yeeted it across the yard. Dude, I saw a still shot of this. This man is holding it in his hands. Staring face to face with a fucking bobcat. That fucking yeets this fucker across his fucking lawn. Oh my god, I hope. There we go. Man, I need to, I need to watch this video. Shit. It's it hilarious. Goes, I think I sent it to the page. It's zero to 100. He's like, yeah, I need to wash my car. And then all of a sudden his wife starts screaming. And like, something went on because she's between two vehicles. And then he goes around. He's like, oh, he's got a kitty. He's like, it's a fucking bobcat. Oh, yeah. Get away, it's a bobcat. Get away. Some random kid rolls up on a scooter. It doesn't work. <laughs> I've disabled it. Dude's trying to do everything he can to fucking give himself more points. That's okay. What game do you even want me to get, man? Warhammer. World of Warcraft. I'll just see if it works. Oh. I already have World of Warcraft. I already have World of Warcraft. <laughs> Warhammer. I'm not getting fucking Warhammer. Okay, just regular Warcraft. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm watching this fucking video the, the with the Bobcat. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's fucking. Bananas. Vehicle, and then just can we fucking shoot it? And then the video cuts. Like that Bobcat is still in the vehicle. Ooh, new credit score. <clears throat> you just got a new credit score. Oh, mine didn't change. Oh. I mean, mine's been going up. I've been working on it, so. But I'm hey, too scared to get a credit card. I believe in you, Mike. Uh, I have one credit card. I'm finally out of the red. I'm in the yellow now, actually. Like, yeah, this is no lie. Like, I, 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 I'll admit, I have a very shitty credit score. Because when I was young, I used to think, oh, yeah, alone? Guess you can go out clubbing tonight now. And <laughs> you know what? At I least you're going to make those. $5,000 loan just to go drinking and lie on what you're getting it for. Did you do that in Japan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's why you got ninja punched. No, it's for the forgery charge. That's why. The first time or the second time? 
first first time was UA. The second time, uh, doof, you can't do that either. Yeah, you can. It didn't work. Well, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I disabled it, so harder. <laughs> doof is doing everything in chat here to try to move points and get points from fucking. Doof is basically doing what our banking system does with real money with these points in a channel. If he applied that same logic and ability somewhere else, he could basically be his own. How about this, everybody? Credit. If we hit even half, half of that, I will get a new game. We're going to put up a poll in Discord uh, for people to vote for it and on like what the game is that I get. So, Are you going to get like a big title so game? You're talking or... Probably, probably not. What's up? Oh, yeah. What'd you say? Time out. So you were talking about staying up all night, right? And you needed stuff to help you stay up longer. So yes. what, what's going on uh, in a couple of weeks? Oh man, look at this guy. This guy's doing real good. Um. So on uh, what fucking month are we in? We're in April right now. All right. Correcto. So May first, I believe it is, right? Yeah. Look at my key. I gotta look at my calendar. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm pretty sure it's May 1st. That's a Saturday, right? Yeah, May 1st. We are going to be doing a 24 hour stream. Me and the boys. Just look at that excitement on Doof's face there. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That was beautiful. Uh, no, yeah, we're gonna be doing a 24 hour stream. Both Tomahawk and I will both be going the full 20. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my 24 hour streams before. Age and Doof going going shifts, but I think since I'm gonna have Tomahawk with me the whole 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 time, um, that should make it a little bit easier there. And now we've we've got some stuff that we can do, so we and more stuff that we can do. I mean, we'll probably go with some a little D and D maybe. Um, we're obviously some WoW, um, some Apex, um, and we might break out the Dirt Five. Paige and I might play a little bit of um. It takes two. Um, Do you want to play that when we get done with the podcast? I can't. I can't, man. I'm supposed to be supposed to be done already. I'm supposed to be done oh, fucking okay. months ago. Okay. Actually, I think yeah. What, what are we at? We're at yeah. We can go ahead and wrap it up. Carlos, you sir, you motherfucker. I'm, Tell I'm, all these good people. I'm buzzing it. I'm buzzing it. <laughs> Let us know. Where we can find all your all your stuff, all your information, all your all your sites and all that. For sure. So, uh, so I, I usually ha I have my podcast or do interviews with people on uh, on YouTube. You can find me on the Corendo Show. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all under the same name, the Corendo Show. Uh, tomorrow, I think I got a, a guest. Uh, his Brother, he was shot down by the by the police. Uh, we're gonna discuss that. Um, the responsibility. I, I personally, I believe you know, fucking. Uh, need to cooperate with the police. Shut the fuck out. Uh, and so th that's gonna be a nice little debate tomorrow. He he believes that uh, it need to be reformed, or there needs to be a reform for police. But I don't know how that's gonna are work you, out. Are you gonna be recording that tomorrow, or is it gonna be the video going up tomorrow? <clears throat> I'm gonna be recording that tomorrow, and it should be out the day after. So it should be out on Thursday by Thursday. All right, so guys, Same after you're awesome. in this podcast, go over to YouTube and go check out his. Any yeah, other man, sites? What's that, brother? Any yeah. other sites where they can find you and all that fun stuff? Uh, the social medias. Or no, we're just and right now. Just focus on YouTube. Uh, like I said, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and. and and we'll get links to all that in the description there uh, for you guys as well. Um, Tomahawk, you can find him on his social media. at Tom Pen. I'm basically everything. On Twitter, Paige is the Don Coyote. On Twitter, Doof is Doof with some zeros instead of O's and underscore. <laughs> and his name's like, I don't know, or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Doof doesn't want to be your friend, guys, okay? Look at this Not fucking really. beautiful man. He has enough fucking friends, okay? <laughs> We can't lose him. If he gets more friends, he'll find out we're not cool, and he won't do our tech shit anymore. <laughs> and uh, you can find me all over the fucking place. You can find me on TikTok, at Militello. You can find me on Facebook, Militello. You can find me on Twitter, 
Twitter, Molotello2. My bad. You can find me on, on YouTube, Molotello. You can find me on Twitch.tv forward slash Molotello. Make sure to check out my band's latest single, Family Values by the band Ashes Rise. Everywhere you guys get music, including TikTok, if you guys want to do some cool new trend thing. I don't know what the kids are doing. Uh, you can do that to the song there and help promote it. It's all awesome. Uh, guys, make sure to keep up on the podcast. I've got Got it. I've had to break out the calendar and start writing down guest names so that I can remember when the hell they're supposed to be on. So there's going to be more coming. And especially, we're going to set it up again for you, Carlos, for the next time you're actually uh, got good internet set up and everything's working fine there. Uh, of course, you know, you're always welcome back here. Um, and we had a great time. Thank you so much for uh, coming and bullshitting with the boys here, man. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me. And uh, I guess I'm going to go back to my donkey show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. From all of us here, from the pages and the doofs and the tomahawks and, and the window show even, you guys have been sexy. I've been Motello. Until next time, see you guys later.